In 1957 an experiment was being performed on the honey bees. And during that experiment a small mistake resulted in a big problem. After the experiment, it was seen that the bees became more aggressive and violent. It was as if these bees will not spare anyone if they come out of their experiment container. And that unfortunate thing happened. Once again welcome to our videos. Viewers, this incident happened in a laboratory in Brazil's Rio Claro when Dr. Warwick was doing an experiment with honey bees. As honey production of European bees are very less that's why Dr. Warwick wanted to change the DNA of these bees. So that they are able to make more honey. For altering the DNA, honey bees from South Africa were brought. Which were made to mate with the European bees. This experiment was performed in a laboratory, where the bees had built a hive inside a container. The experiment was a complete success and this new species of bees were termed Africanized bees. Everything was going according to the plan. But Dr. Warwick was quite worried after seeing the aggressiveness of these bees. Seeing their aggressive stance, he felt apprehensive about it. And then Dr. Warwick decided not to let these bees go out of the container. But unfortunately, that happened, which shouldn't have happened. Due to the negligence of a lab worker a big colony of bees escaped. And soon after they escaped, their violent nature became evident. They started attacking people, and it was not possible to tame these bees. They started making their own hives and grew rapidly. From Brazil now they have spread across America. And have killed more than thousands of people still now. And this is the reason they are called killer bees. They are more black and more dangerous than other bees. They attack anyone within 500 meters of their hive. And if they decide to attack any human or animal they surprisingly chase them up to half a kilometer. And like other bees these killer bees also die after they sting. To know how dangerous their sting is. Why they die after they sting. We need to know why bees attack in first place. Be it any variety of bees they attack humans only if they feel danger. Normal bees attacks anyone if someone touch their hive. But Africanized bees being very aggressive they attack humans who are at a distance, passing through that area. While collecting pollens from the flowers these bees do not harm anyone. Unless anyone set foot on them mistakenly or hinders in their work then they get pissed off and will definitely sting. But they had no idea that they will die soon after they sting. Actually, their sting is like a dagger with small teeth whose direction is in upwards. And when they sting, those teeth on their sting stuck like a hook on the skin and that's why it becomes impossible to remove the sting. When the bee applies force to bring that sting out, it get detached from the bee's body. And along with the sting, their muscles, nerves and parts of their digestive system comes out. And thus the bee dies soon after they sting. Fortunate are the people, who got stung by only one bee because these bees attacks in large numbers. While passing by their hive, if you are stung by one bee then within seconds, the whole colony attacks. But how the other bees, come to know where and to whom they need to attack. Actually the honey they gather in their hive, is their food. They store it for their bad times especially when it is not the season for pollens. Many bees guard their hive taking turns. When humans come close to their hive they sense it from a far distance and if one bee is successful in stinging, at that time a chemical is released which is called pheromone. Experts believe that as soon as the pheromone dissolves in the air, it acts as an alarm signal for the other bees. All those bees who are on duty at the time attacks that human after getting the scent of pheromone. That's why it is better to leave that place where you have been stung by a bee. It is also very important to know how dangerous their stinging can be. When their sting enters our body, it leaves a toxin named melatonin. Our body automatically start working to fight with this toxin. And it is the reason why that portion of the body swells up. Actually, it is a defense mechanism of our body that made the part to swell up to fight against melatonin. If the sting goes near the blood vessel, 
It will mix with the blood and spread in the entire body and it can have dangerous consequences. And people who have melatonin allergy, they are at a greater risk. That's why if a bee stings you, first, try to remove that sting because as long as it stays there, it will continuously pump the toxin inside the body. Let's listen to some interesting facts about killer bees. Killer bees normally build a large hive, which contains more than 80,000 bees. These bees get aggressive with perfume, sparkling jewelry, and dark clothes. Their sting is like normal bees but they're capable of stinging within 3 seconds. Once these bees become agitated it takes 24 hours to get them relaxed. In case of an attack by killer bees one needs to run at least a kilometer. Even after hiding in the water, these bees kept waiting for their prey. Hope you will like and share this video. My heartfelt appreciation for your loving comments. We'll meet you in another amazing video.